Rendering your mix to a high-quality WAV file is a fairly straightforward process. But what if you want to create a smaller file to send via email? This is where MP3s come in really handy. When you export your songs in MP3, you end up with a file that's just a fraction of the size of the equivalent WAV file, without a lot of loss in quality. But there is a catch. You'll need to set up Reaper in order to enable it to render to MP3 files. I'm going to show you how. Let's start by assuming that you've already made your time selection. This is the part of the song you want to export as an MP3 file. I've already done that here, starting just a bit before the song, till just a bit after. So once again, we're going to open up Reaper's render window. Under output format, we're going to choose MP3. But when we set MP3 as our output format, we see here lame is unavailable. To fix that, we need to install the lame encoder software so that Reaper can render your song to an MP3. This is a process you'll only have to do once on your computer. I'm going to demonstrate it on my PC, but the process is almost identical on a Mac. Let's click on the lame unavailable button and see what comes up. So this explains that there are some patent and licensing reasons why Reaper doesn't come with this software by default. There are two links at the bottom of this window. The first will take you to a website where you can download the current version of the lame encoder for your operating system to install on your computer. So let's do that. Here we see the current download page for the lame encoder for PC. If you're on a Mac, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. And either of these pages may change from time to time, depending on the version of Reaper you're using and your operating system. To select the right file, we need to know if we're using a 32 or 64-bit version of Reaper. I'm using a 64-bit version, so I'm going to download this file. Now let's go to the Downloads folder. I'm going to double-click on the file and select libmp3lame.dll and copy it. Mac users will need to double-click the zip file and extract it before copying. Next, let's go back to Reaper and check out the second link in the MP3 encoder configuration window. Clicking this will take you to the folder on your computer where Reaper expects to find the lame encoder file that we just copied. I'm going to click this link and paste the file into the folder. Finally, back in Reaper, we'll click Try to reload lame library. Now Reaper is set up to render to MP3. So let's actually render our final mix as an MP3 file. Just like when we render to WAV, we have to set a few parameters first. Most of the time, I like to use maximum bitrate and quality mode. This sets the quality to 100 and the bitrate to 320 kilobits per second. This will give you the best sounding MP3 file, and it'll be considerably smaller than a WAV file. But if you need to create an even smaller file, you can switch the mode to constant bitrate. This will let you manually select the bitrate. The lower the bitrate, the smaller the file size. But it comes at a price. You can usually go as low as 160 and still get reasonable audio quality. I don't typically recommend going below 160, however. If you do, you'll start to hear a loss in audio quality. For this example, I'm going to switch back to maximum bitrate quality. And let's not forget to make sure that our file has a name that makes sense. Again, I'm going to use the project wildcard, but instead of 16-bit master, which was the last thing we exported, I'm going to change this to 320 kpbs so we can easily see what the bitrate is. I'm going to save my file to the desktop, and it's already set to save to the desktop because that was the last place we rendered a file to. So now let's render this MP3. Let's go to the desktop and take a look at that file. Here are Yorkshire Lady Final 320 kilobit MP3. So we've looked at creating WAV and MP3 files of your song. In the next lectures, I'll show you a few other tricks for exporting different versions of your song.